with the interview. Oh, congratulations. Uh, Amen. Oh, that's awesome, Joey. <laughs> We're going to be late for the Halloween party. But I want to tell you about my interview. Oh, well. I, I'm sure I got it. I'm going to be a world class actor. Now. Of course you are. Of course you are. You guys. You guys. Are you serious? Chandler, what are you? I'm Jesus of Nazareth, are and you? I'm ready for the Halloween party. <laughs> there we go. Are you Are you sure that's a good idea? Rachel, of course. It's a great time to bring up religion right now. I need to blow off some steam here. I just had my audition. How'd it go, Joey? Oh, and this this is it. This is it. We got it. Whoa! This. We got it. We got it. Whoa, Joey! Time, Joey, funny. who is who are your friends here? It appears you've brought the Peasant Revolution band with you. Hey, that's them. It it really is. Yeah. Them. I believe this is Commander Sunny Boy Commander Horsley and Steven Sevilla on the bass. And I'm feeling like I guess we do something, something different, something kind of. Some festive for the, the Halloween party. You nope. fiends, let's get some fiends going. <laughs> Why don't you go as a peasant? Jesus was a peasant. Jesus was a peasant. Jesus of Nazareth was a peasant. Jesus of Nazareth was a peasant. And there's my pick. And there's my pick. Well, let's see. Uh, let's see what the old, uh, let's see, uh, let's see what our the old friend on the skins here has for us. Yeah. The skins here has for us.
Jeff Dodge. We got Commander Sonny Boy and Steven Seville in the house, and a couple guests. Patrick Cunningham on the uh, technical director slot, and uh, all sorts of fun things. So uh, thank you for watching. We're, we're glad to be here, and we're going to be right back after this uh, bit to uh, make my, sure my, that my we're beautiful working. wife, Camila. And, uh, yeah, there we go. What am I uh, doing? Come to push us luck. Yeah, so we're uh, we're here. We're having the show, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna sign off. We're back, and uh, I'm your host, uh, that Jeff Dodd. Like. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, you know what? Let's take another five seconds. Hang on. Some legends say that deep, deep in the North Sea. A small, tiny remnant of an isle does indeed exist, and there is family there. Inhabitants, ancients, a place where the Ulsters and the Duggars and the Irish share a common ancestry. That's now that's the sky. I'd like to tell you a story about my family. Eleven thousand years ago, our ancestors were destroyed by an ocean wave that forced us to go westward. I, way back before even that Scotch Irish shape where we came from was called Dogger Land. Now, from the producers at Trench Digger Productions, the Skyrim, a new dramatization presented by Godfrey McGrath Stuart O'Cunningham. Skyrim, 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 Skyrim. Bye. It's the Skyrim, I'm sure. Before Dark Epic, it's the Skyrim. 
Okay, okay, folks, we are back. We are back. I am your host, Jeff Dodge, and we uh, are so, as you can see, we are so excited to bring back one of our uh, our originals, the uh, TDP TV Transportation Coordinator, Mr. Joseph Cunningham, is in the house. Yeah, let's hear it for Joseph. Woo! Let me uh, give you this, and I'll take this. Sounds good. And uh, well, I don't know if it does sound good. Let me grab this, and we'll make sure it sounds good all the way now. Uh, Checking to see if we can match the theories. Uh, yeah, I've been working on that. Uh, hey, hey, hey. Well, you go ahead and chat a bit, Joe. What have you got going on with you these days? So uh, yesterday had my world floating world music show on KSCR Community Radio in Everett, Washington. Our um, featured music was Cambodian rock. We also played a Pakistani set. It was very fun stuff. And some Irish. Cambodian rock. Uh, in the in Seattle's ACT theater, they have a play called Cambodian Rock Band, and so it's featured music from uh, the their glorious period, nineteen uh, seventies rock. Oh, I'm sorry. There we go. There we go. Now we got you. How's that? Gotcha. Got me. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. That that's a little. Um, so yes. Uh, Joe is here, and he is, um, uh, we are related, if you couldn't tell. We do have matching beards, and you're doing radio now, yeah. and this is what we call a, a kerfuffle in the radio business. Yeah. I had him muted. Are, are you sh sure you're not really more of a McGrath? I'm, I'm from, uh, have you heard of the whole Dogger Island stuff? Yeah. That Dogger Island, Dogger Island is, um, there's supposedly a whole nother continent that, that we might all be from out there. I don't, have you heard that? I, I see it. I see it right here. I see It's it. like not Iceland, but it's, uh, you know, it's around there. Oh, to my, oh, I see it. I, I gotcha. Uh, and uh, maybe I should turn the uh, audio down a little even more. I see it. This is, we're doing some new experimental things um, at TDP TV. Uh, in fact, oh yeah, and that's very, ha, huh, ha. Huh. Oh, you did a, oh, oh. Whoa, whoa, you did a good job. Oh, good job. I know what we can do. Ha, ha, ha. There we go. That's, that's a lot better. How's that? Okay, now let's hear you, Joe. Yeah, there we go. Now we're figuring it out. We're figuring stuff out, folks. Just like that. Because we got all these new studio features and gadgets. Um, yeah, so here we are. And, uh... Joe, I think I had a little title for you. Where was it? It was, uh... uh, uh, uh I, I like to do these things when I go to all this trouble. But we do get our to at uh, least get something right. Our uh, intelligence from the uh, McGrath side because they're the they're the more famous Irishmen. There we are. This is you're actually not on sports tonight, but uh, you're usually our transportation coordinator. You want yes. to tell us a little bit about uh, running transportation for TDP? So, TV. so I have a route uh, down I five corridor. Seattle to Portland. Yeah. Kind of a milk run. The milk bit. run. Yeah. Every, uh, coincidentally, it's probably the first or the last Monday of every month. Um, the last Monday. Well, I, that's funny because I, there's something I'm always doing then too. I can't remember yeah. what it is, but I think I bring your, uh, your camera guy with me. Well, the, uh, the director of photography is what, what they call it in the film business. Yeah. But in the TV business, they call it a, a technical producer. So I'm known as Patrick's dad. Patrick's dad, right in the house. 
Joseph Cunningham here. Yeah. Yeah. In person. What is it like being Patrick Stone? You know, um, in the old days, I would carry his AV equipment. I would give him a ride to uh, middle school with his bass, electric bass. Sometimes I would bring his speakers over there. But normally, it was just kind of being his transportation coordinator. That's that's a, a lot to carry. and a, a It's a tough responsibility. And, and again, you're not doing sports right now. You're doing transportation. Um, but that is just... You know, we, so we do, get, we do get our steps in. Well, yeah. that's, well, that's athletic. Well, now, you come from a family of athletes, of uh, athlete obsessed to say we the are, forever. We are very obsessed with that. What? Uh, I, I'm excited to perhaps be getting our sportscaster and lead guitars, potentially. But um, whether we do or not, what, what, what is driving you nuts with football these days, Joe? Well, um, three of my brothers, who also happen to be three of your cousins. Yes. We're in Wisconsin, Madison, Wisconsin, for a football game. Oh, what game was that? Uh, Madison, Wisconsin versus, I don't know, UW or something, was it? Oh, really? No, I don't Pullman. know. Pullman. Pullman. Yeah, Pullman. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, 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 uh, it's, it's a tough thing being in a sports-obsessed family. Uh, they were mostly football, though. You guys didn't. You, now you were a basketball player, though. I was a basketball player. Why don't you tell us in mean, your your teams, uh, like like your fifth and sixth grade teams were? Well, I was uh, on the varsity for the Solon Sioux. Okay. And uh, on the Standing Rock Reservation in what Sol age Sol you, North though? Dakota, it was about fourteen. Fourteen varsity. Yeah, we um, there was. Eight of us on the team, uh -huh. uh, seven in a pretty good rotation. Some people saw a lot of full minutes, I would but, think. But yeah, every once in a while they'd throw me in the game. <laughs> um, now, were you like a uh, were you like a brawler or like a marksman? Were, they, were you there to to go offense or defense? I was more of a. I'm just gonna walk around the court. Kind right. of pretend Scout like I know out. what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the actions over there. I'm over here. Yeah, potentially dribble on my foot if need be. Right. Right. Uh, but for the most part, um, run in front of the camera and cheerleaders. That was mm -hmm. that was part of my. Um, they Excellent. called they called me two bucks back then. Two bucks. Did you ever hear that? No, that was your nickname. That, that was, was your... my nickname. Yeah. Joe Two Bucks Cunningham. Yeah. yeah. And, uh... Was there, like, a chant from the audience when you'd, like, be at the... You're shooting the free throw? Like, Two Bucks! Two Bucks! That kind of... Because I... If I can digress here, I always pictured a little bit of this story being very, like, young Richie Cunningham kind of... Story. Oh, very uh, freckle face. Was there... Very, very... It was... Uh, I think my hair was parted the same way as... Ron Howard. Ron Howard. You seemed always very Richie to me yeah. early on. It was, uh, oh, the oh, the oh. very nice pressed button-down shirts. And you know what? Speaking of Halloween, we're, we're so close to Halloween, I thought I'd bring up this scary story about the Richie Cunningham family. What the hell fucking happened to Chuck? I, oh, I didn't mean to fucking swear like that, but... Uh oh, oh don't, Chuck. don't bring up Chuck. I Chuck mean, Cunningham. Chuck. Is that... We wrote him off the first season. Did he die in Vietnam? Or I don't understand. It no, we just wrote just, him off the show. He's gone. Yeah. I'm like, there was. You guys. There was 10 of us. Go and, sit on it. I'm out of here. And there's nine of us. <laughs> so Chuck is the 10th brother. I yeah. love it. There was an old. See, I knew there was an older we brother. We did a lot of driving through the cornfields in Nebraska. We, we might think we might have lost him there. That is good. Well, and, and we might be losing some viewers here if we don't uh, pay some bills. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to take an ad do it. right now. Uh, we will be right back uh, with this special, intimate uh, hello, pre Hallow's Eve show with the Peasant Revolution Band Variety Hour. 
Anyway, yeah, it's it again. And, and what I was getting at is, you know, people are all acting like, uh, you know, I don't have um, uh, other stuff to write. Um, anyway, it's Downtown Blend Taste City Coffee. It's always good. And um, it's Saffer Brothers. And, and you're going to love it. So just drink it. I'm drinking it right now. And uh, I had to come get it. You know, I'm agoraphobic, all right? That's that's what I'm getting at, okay? You know, it's it's hard for me to leave the house. And I'm coming down to the recording studio. I'm hanging out with Paul. He's awesome. But um, you guys are acting like I don't have things to write. And I'm writing. I'm writing comedy all the time. I'm basically at uh, volume 40 of, of, of my comedy work. And... Um, I'm really enjoying the Downtown Blend Taste City Coffee from Saffer Brothers. I guess I'm a little agitated today, but have some. You're going to love it. It is always good. Join the legion of satisfied advertisers who have already established a connection with the Peasant Revolution Band Variety Hour. They could tell you how it's improved their business. But let us save them the trouble. Advertising with us will increase your business. 15, 25, even as much as 35%. Join these other fine advertisers and see your business improve. Just like that, just like that, we're back. We're back with uh, Joseph Cunningham. Hey. In the house. His son Patrick is uh, controlling the cameras. And uh, Mr. Steven Sabila and Commander Sonny Boy Curtis here on the harp. Well, they've percussion, everything. And, uh, you know, I think uh, this is the kind of moment where we like to improv a little bit. We were um, going to uh, do some Zooming for guests. Zooming for guests, a very popular feature on the show. Not not gonna happen. No one is uh, participating. No uh, no participants no tonight. No Zooms? No, no Zooms. It's, oh, uh, that's really sad. Well, you know, uh, it, it is sad. And that's why I, I'd like to... Uh, uh, Commander, why don't we bring you into this uh, a little bit? Uh, if you don't mind taking the mic there. Uh, or Yeah, that guy's fine. Because let's keep Joe here. And let's talk about... You, you brought up a word that I find interesting. Tartar. Which, which some talk about Tartaria. It's not just about the sauce anymore, is it? It isn't. And I, I feel this is a great thing to encapsulate in the next three minutes. Uh, Joe, have you heard about all this? Tartaria? It's kind of scary. I'm thinking of like a the Milky Way um, stuff in a... Well the, well, the Milky Way, according to this legend, is all but an illusion. And... Uh, it's all but an illusion. I see that we are uh, we're we're just about ready to shift gears here, but I wanted to uh, just continue our our discussion about Tartaria that Commander Sunny Boy Curtis was bringing up. Yeah, I've just been doing some research into the uh, the history books. Nothing on the internet. Just going through uh, world civilizations and looking at maps and yeah the references to them are clearly uh altered and omitted over the years well it's 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 a mongol genghis khan meets you know this part of russia that they left out you know yeah it's a loose civilization similar to uh, well it's, it's the dark America's. ages right the dark ages it's all right there yeah. And yeah. they've hidden that. That's the that's the time lawyer, time warriors, and time. Oh my goodness! It's Jamila Hart Catering is entering the building. We're Catering. we're getting crazy. Craft services is here. 
we're, gonna, we're it, gonna get a little uh, wild civilized civilization well i we're gonna go into some civilization here i think it's about time we take a break again and uh prepare for the uh the next one as we uh get ready for a little uh a little cheese and crackers we'll be right back after this message Hardcore. I'm here with uh, Dr. Uh, Robert Elias Frashauer, and we are looking for urinals at the old, the old uh, Civic Stadium. Yeah. I they heard some of the best I hear. I heard they catch Shanghai urinals in the Shanghai Tunnel. That's what I've heard. All right, we're going in it. to find these Shanghai Tunnel urinals. This is so fun. Is that it? Bless you. Thank you. This is the legend of the urinals. The Shanghai pistols in the tunnels. Yeah, you're supposed to be able to shit and face that all over. Oh, my God. Security. Oh, this is getting secret. Uh, welcome back, everybody. We have uh, Link Chocolate in the house. We have Captain David Farrell, Commander Sonny Boy Curtis, and Steven Zabila on base. Uh, and this is a little tune that we we're thinking we'd work out here because of uh, everything going on out there in the world. Uh, it just kind of seems like uh, this might be a nice little thing. Nice little thing. So let's see how it goes. Let's see what we come up with here, huh?
guys. We are having a great time. We'll be right back after this quick commercial break. Woo! Oh, right, right, we are. <sighs> Professor Richard Klondike is one of the preeminent uh, investigators of urinals throughout. Have you heard of Mr. Goldman or Mr. S Professor Scott's work on urinals? Yes. Scott's paper that he put out last year. Professor, uh, Professor Scott, yes. On urinal cakes across the U.S. I, I am not familiar with me. On the various brands of urinal cakes around the country, the edible ones. You know what I'm saying? When you're out on the road. <laughs> you should really check it out. The horse is doing it weird. Join the legion of satisfied advertisers who have already established a connection with the Peasant Revolution Band Variety Hour. They could tell you how it's improved their business, but let us save them the trouble. Advertising with us will increase your business. 15, 25, even as much as 35%. Join these other fine advertisers and see your business improve. We've all seen that uh, Urinal Hunters, Urinal Hunters has whole new season coming ahead. Very excited about Urinal Hunters on TDP TV. But best of all, TDP TV is so happy to bring back its sports, head of sports department, David Farrell in the house. Woo! Go Sirs! Go Sirs! Go Lakers! Or something you know, in the opening of the day, but yes, we got a uh, sneaky jam for you. Yeah, and uh, that that jam was uh, what do you guys call that? Smoke on the Panther. Smoke, smoke on the Panther, Steve. You and and David, our sportscaster, go back with this. Do you guys? I, I'm just gonna back off and let you guys do smoke on the panther. Yeah, uh, uh, won't uh, Commander and I can lay some 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 they, percussion vibe. They, 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 you use a pick for a bass, okay? Uh, well, for this song. All right, all right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Smoke on the panther. Let's go to the let's go to the panther. That is some bass, man. That's some deep bass. Are you getting the vibe, man? This is the new album we're doing. This is good. We and oh, man. all these snacks. We got close with that. Okay. Listen, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring us back to what we're all here for. David, uh rock and roll, poop shibby. I'll trade you. Oh, we're on sports boat. We're gonna you go here. Go to sports boat for a second there. Uh you're still alive. Well 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 I know that Steve has a part to contribute to this, but let's get it let's get down to uh brass tacks here. You're Yes, it, 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 that is uh, that is a great picture. Uh, this camera here, do it right there, maybe. Or oh no, I know, there it is. You got it right there. That's that's the guy. Yeah, the the other the other camera, Patrick. Uh, okay. 
Oh, that's okay. Know. That's okay. That's what okay. would you like to talk about sports? Uh, well, I, I, I think I should sit the down. The Orton Ducks are doing really, really, really... Uh, yeah, sit with me, darling. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the Oregon Ducks are doing very well, it seems. I think Bo Nix is a credible superstar. And, uh, I think that he'll be the next Drew Brees. Dan, I just like saying Drew Brees. When that yeah. game, cool name. Who was Drew's coach? That that was not uh, what's his face. That, uh, oh, he now coaches the uh, Denver Broncos, and they're failing miserably. Okay, which lends him a little bit more credence to Mr. Brees. Yes, yes, as he succeeded with him and failed without him. As Russell Wilson did, inversely. Who coaches the Ducks now? Dan Man. Dan Man. Yeah, let's throw some more N's in there. How long has he been there? Is that now, wasn't there a ball player called Dan Manning? Danny Manning? Is there? Does that ring a bell? Basketball player. I haven't. Oh, yeah. Yes. Danny Manning. Yes. It's like a freaking uh, forward. K- University of Kansas. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Well, now that I've brought us to basketball, let's talk about them Blazers. Uh, they are really, 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 yes, <laughs> bad. Whoa. And, 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 oh, oh it's a harsh out. call. It's a harsh call. And, um, he's honest. I, he's I, honest. I, I, took good, my, I took my guesstimate down to 31. And Stevie. Okay, so. Here, the one here's the here, 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 here things. Stevie and I, well, and our buddy Tony. Tony is the pessimist. Stevie's the optimist. And I'm, I, you're the realist. I try. You're the realist. I try. I try to be rational. Well, well, and so right. I'm always between them. And so Stevie thought they were going to win like 42 or 45, make the playoffs. Yes, right. Last year, right. Um. And I brought mine down to 31 this year. You're going 31 and... No, 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 no. I was going 31. Oh, so now you're going lower. Oh. You're going like 15 or something. I watched them. You play. saw it. 20 games. It's uh, bad, man. Tony it's, said if they get 10 to 12, it's been good. And oh, then... But, oh, I, didn't, but, but I didn't... Oh, I didn't oh. realize... Okay. Moan again, sons. Moan. Oh, yes. Um, I didn't realize the wisdom in his words. Because if they get 10 or 12, they're lottery again. Because the season is shot. It's dead. There's no hope. They will not make 20 games. They will not make the playoffs. If they win 25, I will give everybody in this room one dollar. Because I'm rich. Well, I, I, I'll i take you up That's on that dollar. Two, I, I will put that dollar in like, because yeah, that one. That's I one. think they're going to make the play-in. I'm going to make, I think they're going to make the play-in and they're going to surprise people. Whoa. That's I, my, I, that's my call. I'm going to call I, it right now. They're going to make the play-in. On live they're going to be. I think Jeff's asset is better than. They're, they're going to be ninth there. round. Okay. They're going to be ninth round and they will, uh, Right. Just sneak in there. Ninth seed. Ninth seed. Oh, Boy, are we talking boxing or basketball? I thought we, oh, yeah, basketball. They're Ninth gonna seed. Out. Ninth seed. They're going to get knocked out in the championship game. They're going to take it all the way from ninth to the championship and then lose it. Because that's very much a Portland course. I love it's imagination. Like yeah. It's a beautiful thing. We it's take you there. Uh, David Lynch said a thing that I, that I almost hold dear. He said, ideas, dot, 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 they're the best thing going. Well, I, I did want to bring this up with you, truthfully. Uh, have you seen the Bonzi Rashid podcast yet? Any of that? Oh, my God, it's so good. And they talk about it all. They they loved us. They were such fans of Portland. Like, it was a... The, the, I'll just put it this way. The Portland Crunch. Jail Blazers is one of the best uh, underestimated uh, teams. Uh, uh, we had an inside track because Steve Sabila often served, he worked at a restaurant where he often 
served our Vetus Sabonis tapas. So uh, we had our own and connection. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's 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 define, our terms. Let's let's define our terms. Let's define our terms. Okay. Is it there is no your Vetus or my Vetus. It's only our, our only our Vetus. And it was it's so nice to see that Bonzi and she loved our videos. You could tell it when they tell the stories. He did talk about uh, Chanel? My my girlfriend No, because it was, her, her, it was uh, not, he it was, was more haste okay. about Donaghy. Because he calls there's also an interview Dunleavy. with Dunleavy. No, Don well he hates Dunleavy. That's still there, but like uh Donaghy, they actually do an interview with Donahue, the guy he chased to the docks oh, with the yeah. oh, oh, and the guy who killed Donahue, yeah, yeah. The, the gambler, yeah, the, the guy that was he's a fucking, he's like Kenny Rogers as fucking was, referee of the NBA, the gambler on the dock, <laughs> I'm a gambler. That's what, that's all Rashid does. And there's this great part of the that's interview where the three of them are together, and Rashid goes like, "I knew I was right." I knew it, damn it! You know, it's, it's a great moment. I love Sheed. Sheed is uh, such a powerful part of the Portland Trailblazer I, I experience. Think, I mean, uh, this is a bold statement, but if it's one of our top you, three, uh, uh, if you're in Portland, Oregon, and you watch Rashid Wallace play, mm -hmm. and if you study the game of basketball, and you watch North Carolina, where he studied under yep. Smith. That you would recognize that he is the most fundamental power forward outside of Tim Duncan in that entire era. Mm -hmm. And if you got a problem with him, you're a fucking racist. Well, I mean, that's. You now we're getting into some good stuff. Uh, my brother but, uh, does it. My brother hates Sheen for that shit. Really? Uh, oh, Chanda hates him for throwing the towel oh, and, 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 and some over. Rashid is awesome. I recommend you all check out his podcast. He's working with Bonzi now. They do a great show. Yeah. Um, be on the they had J.R. Ryder on it, too. Uh, J.R. Ryder was on And I heard that Isaiah is back in touch with well, reality. Wait, wait, before we uh, uh, conclude things, Steve had a little bit on the Blazers. Did You You got on the radio, is that correct? Yes, in local guy what? Chad Doyne Chad Doyne confirmed that I indeed do block well, come come oh, you put that yes, on the uh, we, we got yeah. some peasant revolution band which uh, by the way this uh, thank you so Dodge much uh, to uh, Jamila Wilson Rich Reese uh, and of course Lent Chocolate here we go. for our Louis Louis tribute it's wonderful here we go you ready you ready Okay, this is Steven Sevilla on radio copying Blazers. Yeah, I would go for Strickland. Strickland or Vetus. Wait, wait, wait. You're going the wrong way. I turned the volume up. Fuck! You do? Our sportscaster is muted. Fuck. Oh. He's a sportscaster. He can't hold on, hold on. be responsible for technology. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold but Ron Strickland is the guy, so nice work, buddy. I'm going to put you on hold, and uh, Parker's going to get your information. Yeah, yeah. Steve is ready to rock. Okay, there you go. That's that simple, dude. Steve is ready to rock. You got some tickets. That's simple. That's simple. Yes. <laughs> That's good stuff, good stuff. <laughs> Well, I'll uh, I'll tell you what we're uh, getting to that point of the night where uh, banks and the cutting is and easy and I don't even I don't I haven't even oh. tried to play this yet but I thought you guys would all like it and um, we're gonna do a little uh, well we're gonna do a little tribute for uh, Mr. Ted Wheeler in a second here we're gonna talk about the mayor of Portland thank God he's finally abstained. Yes. 
Well, he's not dead yet. He's abstained from his duties. Once again. And, uh, you know, I... Oh! Oh! My my lovely wife, Jamila, has joined us. Uh, when you seem to have some kind of uh, clairvoyant message you want to get to me, is that... Just, just, uh, just tell me to say goodnight. Just, oh, she's telling me to say goodnight. So, um... Goodnight, honey. I guess goodnight, honey, goodnight, Jeff, and goodnight to all of you. And, uh... Oh, I guess we're done with you, David Farrell. Let's go to the clean... Yeah, I'm confused. Let's go to the clean stage, and then we'll go ahead and Day try this who, little... Who is, who is Diddy? David? Is that my Egyptian? Oh, I counterpart? look at that. That's great. We gave you Nayib. an Egyptian Nayib. name. Dai. 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 That's very good. That's Dai. very good. Dai. So let's Dai. let's see if we can figure this guy out. Dai. 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 This could Dai. be very interesting. Dai. Well, Dai. we'll start with the drum beat. Do you feel so American? Uh, you know. Dai. Dude. It should be. It should be a little faster than that. Could take this uh, away from me, and if you don't, I'm gonna fuck with the oh, I'm gonna fuck with you. Wow, well, nah. That's not bad. That's I'm not. I'm not. gonna fuck with you, Jeffrey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear it. Oh, I'm not. I'm gonna fuck with you, Jeffrey. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Nah. After, after you're done uh, fucking uh, with me, Mr. Sportscaster, Mr. Dave Farrell, maybe you can help yeah, uh, join yeah, the tribute this come what to do, baby. This goes out to our friend uh, Christopher, uh, not doing great right now, so uh, this is a little tune he kind of reacquainted me with and you can get it down.
Look now, I'm proud of it. Oh, yeah! Yeah!